Hi, welcome. I am so excited you're back here. And I can tell you are someone with an amazing imagination. You can create something from nothing and you just love being creative. I know. Well, guess what? You came to the right place because welcome to the world of Honor Roll Crafts, where we're always on a roll, coming up with something new and exciting. And it was a challenge. I was trying to think, what is something you would really enjoy that's really fun, but really beautiful as well? And I think we got it. Do you see this beautiful canvas frame with flowers, you might have thought, oh, it's just part of the decorations. No, you are going to be creating this yourself. I will show you step by step, but this is something you are going to make. Because when it comes to like decorating a home or something with different pieces of art, what can be better than flowers? How beautiful. Flowers is just something universal that everyone loves. What's your favorite flower? Is it daisies or roses? Roses. Mm -mm. Violets? Tulips? Hydrangeas? Okay, it has to be one of those. Well, whatever flower you love, we are going to create and put into this beautiful canvas that you can hang in your home. You can make it for the holiday of Shavuot. Just give it to your mom or just make it a beautiful piece of art because you're in the mood. Watch out, Picasso. We are coming for you. You have some competition. So you are going to run and go get all the supplies. I'm going to say you're going to come right back here and together, step by step, we are going to create this. No one's going to believe you made it, but you're going to tell them that you did it. You're on a roll. Yeah, you're ready to start. You're on a roll. You're here to take part. You've got a gold imagination. You're an artist at heart. You're on a roll. Yeah, you're ready to play. You're on a roll. Arts and crafts every day. And if you want to make this world a better place with your art, you're on a roll. So I try to have all the supplies as organized as possible so it's very, very clear. You can go ask an adult if you need some help finding some supplies. Or I used to think that in order to watch a craft video, you had to do it wrong. You actually don't. You can just watch it without creating it and let your creative juices flow or just enjoy the whole creative process because we're gonna have a lot of fun. So. Where should we start? The first thing you will need for this project is a canvas. But if you don't have a canvas, you can actually even just take a thick cardstock paper. Next, a little black paint. I have a little plate so it doesn't get all over the place. Or if you don't have paint around, you can also use a Sharpie. Scissors. Hello pencil, a glue gun or duct tape. You must, 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 must get permission from an adult to use a glue gun. You cannot use it on your own if you do not have permission. It gets really, really hot. Razors if you're old enough or just use a scissor and because we're going to be creating a vase, sometimes it's hard to like draw a vase on your own and get it like symmetrical and even. So I went online and I found a few clip art vases that I made sure were sort of the right size. And of course, my favorite part, the bouquet of flowers. Now, if you have flowers around the house, any dried flowers, if you find in Dollar Tree, really any flowers will work. No, they don't smell. <laughs> okay, so here's what we do first. I'm gonna pick, hmm, which vase do I like? I did the one on the left 
in the sample, so I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna cut it out. I printed it out on cardstock paper so it will be able to trace. Now remember, when it comes to crafts, I don't like crafts that everything has to be perfect, perfect, perfect. So if you're not in the mood of tracing it and you just wanna draw it on your own, that is perfectly fine. We don't like, we don't have to get all perfectionist here. Oops, you stay right there. We're gonna take this. I'm gonna trace it towards the bottom. Trace it around. This one looks more like a jug. I think it's really cool. Ooh, very pretty. And now, sometimes if I'm not in a painting mood, I just trace it in Sharpie and color it in with different marker colors. But I'm kind of in a painting mood today. So I'm gonna take black paint, put it in. Ooh, I'm gonna trace right around. We'll do a little polka dots. Perfect. Not perfectly perfect. Okay, so we're gonna let this little guy dry here for a little bit, even though it's so hard. You get very impatient and you just wanna start the next step. I know, it's hard. You could breathe, you could sing a song, you could do your homework, come back. Okay, when it's all ready and dry, this part feels really, really strange because you're actually going to cut the canvas. And I know that feels weird, like a perfect canvas. You don't want to sit there and cut it, but it's part, like they say, it's just part of the process. So I'm, I'm gonna take my razor, but again, a scissor is perfectly good enough. I could really just make a little hole. Oops. And then cut, or with the razor. And now we have a little hole, and you guessed it, you know exactly what's going to go inside, the flowers. So it's really gonna look like the flowers are actually coming out of that vase. I found these lying around, but if you have roses or daisies or tulips, any color, any shade, there's really no wrong flower. Everything's going to look gorgeous. I'm gonna open this up and I'm going to start arranging. So I kind of liked with like, when it looked like the green leaf is like falling out. So if you have a flower with a wire inside, I'm gonna bend it down, have it like drooping down, and I'll do a little bit. I don't want it to be too symmetrical because I want it to look real. I'm gonna put this one coming in over here. And now I'm just gonna play around with it. like. Does your mom ever make real arrangements on a table with real flowers? I guess it's kind of the same thing, but just a little flatter. Ooh, this is really pretty. Mm, I like this pink one. Oh, this is really nice. These are really, really swell. My friend's a real florist and she says, the more green, the better it is. So put some greenery. Wow, oh my, I turned this around and I cannot believe we just created this here today. We painted a beautiful vase, we cut a canvas, who does that? Like when you think of canvases, you probably think of nice, flat, nope. We cut it open, made it pop, 3D textured, Look how beautiful. But before you hang it on your wall, all you have to do is you don't even need to add a piece to hang it. If you have a nail, you could just stick it on top. But before you do that, we don't want the flowers to start drooping down um, like real flowers. You wanna really secure it so it doesn't fall on somebody's head. So what we're going to do is you can either glue gun it. That's one option. I can take my glue gun and start gluing the flowers down. Or, oh, here we go, just a little glue here. I'm just gonna touch it up to put it exactly in place where I want it. Oh my gosh, it is 
so pretty. I really hope you're gonna send me pictures. Okay, <gasps> gorgeous. Or if you don't have a glue gun or don't wanna glue it, you can literally just take tape and tape all the stems in the back. So it doesn't even matter what color or what type of tape you have. I'm just gonna unroll, snip, and just tape it down. It might need a few pieces of tape to really secure it. We're gonna turn it around and voila. I had such a great time doing this project with you. I really hope you're gonna come back because if you think this is cool, watch out for our next episode. You are going to be blown away. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed and I cannot wait to see what you came up with on your own.